Kevin, one of the things is always when you guys uh, you know, would lose a game, I always ask about the looks. Is when you look at the looks that for the team overall, how would you assess the looks you guys got? Yeah, they were solid looks. Um, shots you got to live with. We got missed a few lays, a few wide open threes. Got to live with those shots. Um, they took 13 more shots than us and was more efficient than us. That's the game. When you look at just, you know, as far as the, the that that third quarter when Anthony got it going, um, when he's hitting that three, he becomes even more challenging to guard. Maybe maybe what you've like led to him ultimately finding that rhythm to be able to take those. Yeah, I just think they put the ball in his hands and let him dribble up the court. A lot of time, Conley, Mike Conley is handling the ball. Um, so you let him dribble the ball to the court. He got his rhythm. He was able to hit a few. He's seen a couple of tough ones go in. Now he, he got confidence. He, well, he always had confidence as a player. But when you see a few tough ones go in, I mean, I think he hit that fade over me. He was then falling away, falling away, and um, then he hit two more threes over contest. You know, over contest. So you know, it was a make or miss league. You got to knock down shots if you want to win. The other thing that I had was obviously he got to chatting a little bit after one of those threes with you. Uh, you've been in that before, where yeah, yeah. you know, back and forth. Uh, how much of that is just playoff basketball? Yeah, it's just basketball, not even play. It's just hoop, you know. Um, you get hot, you make shots, make tough shots. You know, you're going to feel excited about yourself. So it's on me to keep coming back and showing them a tough look or, or whoever's defending these guys to show them a tough look. If they make shots over us, we move back to the next play, you know, and we move on to the next play, you know. So, um, you know, he, uh, he got it going. He made some tough ones. You just got to live with it. You got to live with it and be better next game. Everyone knows Minnesota's a physical team. It felt like you guys matched that intensity early on. Do you do you agree with that sentiment? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, and I think sometimes we might have fouled too much there at bad times trying to be physical. But, you know, we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. The rest are letting us play. And, um, you know, it's the type of game we want. What's the tough part of finding the balance between the mismatches that you guys want to attack, but at the same time keeping a rhythm offensively and keeping the ball moving? I think that is our rhythm, is when we find mismatches, if we break down the defense and try to create for others, you know, um, break our man down one-on-one -on -one and, and make the extra pass, you know, that's when we get our blender going where everybody's touching the ball. So we got to mix it up, obviously, and play different styles, but for the most part, we like breaking our man down and trying to create something for ourselves or our teammates. When you look at Book, obviously he's been a great playoff performer, had a rough night tonight. What did you see as far as what the Timberwolves were doing to try to take him out of it? Well, I just think he missed some tough ones, you know, some easy ones that he normally makes. And, you know, I think he can be more aggressive to shoot more shots in the first half. Um, but for the most part, he's trying to play the right way, he's trying to play hard, um, you know, and he got his going there in the third by making a couple shots, you know. So I'm not worried about Book. I think he's going to come out here and have a great game too. To your point about missing shots, it felt like you guys missed some close ones around the basket as well. Just a similar thing as far as what you always talk about with make or miss. Yeah, yeah. We just got to be more focused and finish those plays, and I think we will. Kevin, uh, Frank Vogel just said, too, he, he feels that this is a good chance to go through adversity and really this is your first time going through this together as a team. What did you learn about yourselves tonight in game one? <clears throat> Um, I think we've been finding out lessons about ourselves throughout the whole season. I know it's playoff time and it's high pressure moments, but we've been together for five, six months now. So uh, we understand who we are as individuals. We understand, we've been in tight games before. We came back from being down big and been up big before. You know, we've been in every situation thus far. And I know it's the playoffs and I know, you know, it's a new season, but we've been around each other all season. So it's not like anything's new when we step into the step on the floor. You know, we just got to revert back to the stuff that we did throughout the whole season that helped us be successful and move on. Kevin, the uh, rebounds 52 to 28, only mm -hmm. three offensive boards. Just uh, what do you attribute that to? Uh, they're a big team. Uh, you know, we play small a lot. You know, I think we emphasize and trying to get back on defense a little bit more so we can get no offensive rebounds and. Uh, I mean, often they had 13, you know, um, it's just they're bigger than us, to be honest. So we got to box even harder, and sometimes we might have to crash a little bit more offense to get more possessions, too. Kevin Bradley Beal said this game one was more like a feel out game, just to get a feel for the opponent going both ways. What do you make of that statement, and how far away do you think this team is from closing the gap and trying to even the series up in one game apiece? Yeah, I mean, still, you never know how what type of adjustments they're going to make after we just played them at the last game of the season and two times in the last week, two weeks of the season. 
So you want to see how they approach the game, but at the same time, you don't want to ease into anything and use this as a feel out game. I think we try to go out there and win, all of us, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I think both teams got a feel for each, for, for their opponent. And we'll see who makes the most adjustments and who just plays better next game. Sometimes it's just playing harder and making shots. And that'll be a, your adjustment, you know? So, uh, yeah, you can say it's a fill out game, but we still try to go out there and win. That don't mean we came out there and, and laid down. Kevin, when you look at just uh, the two days in between, some some series they try to, you know, it's like one only one day in between yeah. games. Um, how big will that extra day be in terms of getting ready for game two? Yeah, it'll be cool. I mean, I'm sure the guys want to get out there as quickly as possible, but we understand the TV scheduling and all that stuff that goes into the playoffs. So we try to stay ready and stay engaged regardless. And the NBA throws everything at us, man. So we just got to adjust, you know. So uh, we'll be ready game two.